Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to discuss Go High Level Snapshots. So people have been asking me lately how to create snapshots, how to delete them, how to do all sorts of basic operations like read, write, delete, update, all sorts of stuff with Go High Level Snapshots. So I'm going to give you a brief overview of how the snapshot system works in Go High Level. So after watching this video, you will be able to create, delete, update and share Go High Level Snapshots. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and let's begin. Now, before we start talking about how to create or delete them, let's take this time to understand what a co high level snapshot can contain, right? So I've created this notepad over here. Now I'm going to say, what are the basic things a snapshot will contain, right? So the snapshot is going to contain the workflows. So one of the reasons why we create snapshots is to move the automations across other sub accounts or share to other agency owners or agency accounts so they can use them for their sub accounts right so workflows is one of the most important things a snapshot is going to hold or contain the second thing is uh sites or funnels so if you create funnels and websites in a sub account and create a snapshot out of it which we are going to look into how to do that later uh, these sites and funnels they're going to be a part of the snapshot that you're going to create right so workflows is going to be there sites and funnels there's going to be calendars and there's going to be custom values custom fields yeah right so pipelines so these are the things that uh go high level snapshot will potentially contain that you can copy and paste over to other sub accounts or share to other agency owners through making a snapshot right so Let's minimize this and now I have created this sub account which uh, I have named snapshot as a prefix so I can recognize it later now so this is the this is the sub account I want to create a snapshot out of right so what we are gonna do is we are gonna create all the automations funnels pipelines calendars inside settings and then what we are gonna do is we are gonna move to agency view we are gonna go to settings we are going to go to snapshot and we are going to say create a new snapshot right so we are going to name it a uh, complete digital agency snapshot right so now here's where we give go high level the account which go high level is going to use to create the snapshot right so this is going to be the same account i was in a few seconds ago so this is the account complete digital agency and now I'm gonna hit save it's gonna create a snapshot of that account and you can basically copy and paste it like install this snapshot to other sub accounts so here's the snapshot that we created just now and to share it you're gonna have to come to the settings of agency level and then snapshot and if you want to share the snapshot with another agency account what you need to do is you need to click share and it's going to ask you what's the share type so let's look into how many share types are there so there's get share link which is going to be a one-time link it's going to give you and if that link is used to load the snapshot to other agents agency account it's going to be shut down so this is a one-time use only now the second one is email share link which is also a one-time share but you can just email it to other people like the person that you want to share this to and then the third one is the permanent link which is basically if you click on this it's gonna create a link for you so you can use it or other people can use it forever right so this is how you share the snapshot and in order to load this snapshot to other agency account what you need to do or what the other guy needs to do is he needs to go to this new tab and make sure he is logged into app.gohighlevel.com not into the white label domain so make sure uh, the agency owner who wants to install this snapshot has logged into app.gohighlevel.com and then pretty simple just load this url or the share link it's going to ask do you want to import it yes i want to import it and then it's going to be imported to that agency account it's pretty simple so this is how you create share snapshots and one important thing i forgot to share is how you update this 
snapshot, right? So I just created this, right? So let's say I just forgot to create this automation or create this workflow inside the account, right? So the snapshot doesn't have that workflow yet. What we need to do is we need to go to that sub account, right? We need to navigate to that sub account just like I did it now. And then we need to do that automation or create that automation or create the site or just do the update I wanted to do. And then I need to go back to agency view settings. And then what I'll do is I'll go to snapshot. I don't have to create a new snapshot. You can create one, but you don't need to, right? So you just come here and you just say refresh snapshot, which is going to update the snapshot to the latest version of that corresponding sub account, which is snapshot complete digital agency, right? So this is pretty simple. So we know how to create snapshot. We know updating them, deleting them, sharing them. So these are the basic operations you can do with Goha level snapshots. And we also know what are the most important things what, or what are the basic things the snapshot will contain, right? So I hope this video helped you understand how Goha level snapshots work. And that's what I wanted to share through this video. Hope this helps and make sure you subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.